Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We are the podcast that turns your ideas into an amazing adventure every single day. You know, we couldn't even exist without imaginations from kids just like you. So if you have an idea for a story, I'd love to see it. Check down in the show notes below for how you can submit your own story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And parents, if you're new to kids podcasting, I want to challenge you to listen to podcasting for five days in a row with your kids. It's going to increase their imagination, decrease screen time, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Ready or not, here I come. Stella and Eden were playing hide and seek in their backyard, and Stella was it. Do you love playing hide and seek? Oh, that is such a fun game to play in the backyard. And Stella took her hands off her eyes and started to scan her surroundings. Hmm, treehouse, slide, garden. Hmm. Stella was listing off the things that she could see in the yard. Uh, interesting places to hide, but none of them being Eden. A bush started to wiggle in the distance, and that is an awfully uh, important clue if you're playing hide and seek, because bushes don't wiggle. Stella ran at the bush, pouncing around the other side, saying, gotcha! squeaked the startled squirrel on the other side. <laughs> Whoops, uh, sorry, squirrel, laughed Stella. It swished its tail at her before sprinting up a tree. Oh yeah, I forgot about squirrels. They can wiggle bushes too, so... Okay, keep looking. Stella walked further into the trees in the backyard, peeking around bushes and tree trunks. She walked through the taller patches of grass, not seeing any sight of Eden, the long grass tickled her ankles, but her giggles turned into a screech when the grass stopped brushing up against her and something grabbed her ankle instead. Ah! Stella heard Eden burst into laughter, but she didn't see her. Stella, down here! Eden's head popped up again from under the tall grass, this time to wave at Stella. <gasps> what in the world? Whew. Stella was very scared after her foot got grabbed and started to part the grass and saw Eden had found the best hiding spot. She was standing inside of a giant tunnel hidden beneath the long, tall grass. Eden, how did you find this place? Stella gasped as she jumped in. Well, I think it actually found me, replied Eden. I was back here in the grass looking for a hiding spot when I saw this patch of grass that was glowing. Like, really, it was bright green, so obviously I went to look at it and this hole appeared. <gasps> cool, said Stella. But Eden, this isn't just a hole, it's a tunnel. Uh, have you seen where it goes yet? Eden smiled at her. Nope. I was waiting for you to find me so we could find out together. Come on, let's go. He didn't grab Stella's hand and the two girls headed through. Stella thought it would have gotten darker as they left the entrance to the hole because the sunlight wouldn't be able to reach them. But it didn't get dark at all. Instead, it became more colorful. The dirt walls were lined with glittering stones of blues and purples that glowed softly. Wow. While the ground beneath them became fluffier. Like, yeah, you heard me right. Fluffier with every step. It wasn't squishy like mud. It actually felt kind of like cotton balls. In fact, the farther they went along the tunnel... It actually began to look like they were being surrounded by clouds. The dirt walls and ceiling above them were no longer brown. The fluffy material all around them began to part where the glowing stones were and were replaced by sunbeams shining through. 
Oh, it's Stella? Well, I don't think we're underground anymore. Stella nodded in agreement. It looked like they were in the sky. Beep, boop, bloop, beep. Stella and Eden swiveled their head in the direction of that sound. Floating ahead on one of the clouds was an alien. It was a yellow creature with a fluffy cloud face and a very thin body that made it look like cotton candy on a stick. Stella and Eden both waved slowly at the alien, unsure of what it had said and if it was nice or not. It zipped right over to them, floating around them, right in front of them. Bloop, sweep, bloop, beep. It tried again. Um, bippity boppity boo, responded Eden. The alien looked confused. Ah, uh, sorry, said Stella. Oh, we don't understand what you're saying. The alien swirled around in a circle, and three clouds raced up to them. The alien jumped in, and the cloud formed around it like a seat. It looked at Stella and Eden, waiting for them to do the same. Stella and Eden held hands as they each stepped one foot very carefully into their own clouds. Uh, I would be pretty afraid to step on a cloud, would you? I feel like it, my, I would fall right through it. But they didn't fall through, and they let go and stepped in with both feet. Meepity bleepity blue blub shouted the alien as it bounced up and down. I think it wants us to sit down, said Eden. She looked at Stella, and they both sat down at the same time. The cloud formed around them like a seat, just as it had for the alien, and a fluffy steering wheel popped out in front. Whoa, is this like a cloud car? The alien revved its cloud engine and shouted back at them. Bloop, bloop, bleep, bleep, bleep before it sped off. I think it wants to play with us. Maybe race our cloud cars, said Stella. So her and Eden revved their cloud cars and darted after the alien. Zoom. The three of them raced all throughout the cloud world. They soared over blue cloud mountains and under green cloud trees. What? This wasn't even their same world. This was a totally different world. Everything was made of clouds. The game of chase turned into a game of hide and seek tag. Whoa! With Stella, Eden, and the alien taking turns being it. They hid behind clouds until someone popped up through them and tagged them. They played until the girls grew tired. Oh, wow. Oh, I think this is why I found the tunnel. Oh, yawned Eden. I think the alien saw us and wanted to play too. Me, bloop, bleep, bleep, said the alien, sounding like it agreed. The girls thanked the alien for inviting them to their cloud world and explained the best they could that they were sleepy and had to head home. It took a lot of yawning and fake snoring, but the alien finally understood it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. If, if you were trying to talk to an alien that didn't understand you and you're trying to tell it that you needed to go to sleep, well, how would you do? Would you act it out or make... S oh, yeah, you could put your hands over your... next to your cheek like you're laying down. Yeah, make snoring sounds. <laughs> and finally, the alien understood them. It showed them back to the tunnel and waved goodbye. Wow. That was so fun, said Stella as the girls popped back through their side of the tunnel back into their world. Yeah, Eden agreed. I can't wait to find out where the other tunnels go. Other tunnels, said Stella. She chased after Eden. Hey, wait for me. I want to see the other tunnels. Wow, this may be the end of our story, but... What about those other tunnels? Huh. Well, I think our imaginations are going to have to continue the story of what happens in the next tunnel when Stella and Eden...
crawl inside. Where do you think they'll wind up next? I'm not sure, but I can't wait to see what your imaginations come up with. The end. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Wow, looks like we're already back to the show. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and now it's time for Kid Shoutouts! I want to say hey to Owen and Lucy from Anchorage, Alaska, Betis and Mason from Algeria, Xander and Zayla from North Dakota, Hunter from Canada, and Lily from New York. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. We could not have this much fun with imagination without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor.